event. We have Simulation and Innovation Center faculty members, Sarah Case, and Oasis Center navigator, Cheryl Price. Welcome to the show. Thanks for having us. Mm -hmm. yeah. So things uh, hopping right now on the JC campus? They are. Fall semester just yeah. started back up, so everybody's on campus now, and it's just wonderful to see everybody being around in all of the common areas, so it's a, a new vibe. <laughs> yeah, and really what a welcoming campus. Uh, we should uh, tip our hat to all those people in charge of making sure that the uh, the campus looks as great as it does because it is, it's, it's a show beautiful. place. Beautiful campus. It is. Yeah. All right, so uh, health, the health of students, that's a uh, pretty, pretty uh, important consideration. Yeah. And, you know, a lot of times you've got people that maybe they're away from home for the first time as college students, mm -hmm. uh, not taking care of themselves like mom might. That's true. Uh, they might be stressed. There's uh, all kinds of new pressures yeah. in college and you've developed a, uh, a special event promoting um, the benefits of walking and mental health. Yes, that's correct. So this event is a free event for community, staff, students, um, just to show the importance of just getting out and going for a walk. You know, it's great physically, but also mentally, especially when you're overwhelmed and you know, trying to navigate a lot of life stressors. <laughs> I mentioned uh, the Oasis Center and Cheryl, your navigator uh, there, and that is a, a center that focuses on, on mental right. health. Right, it's the um, mental health fitness um, drop-in center that is sponsored by Family Service and Children's Aid and Jackson College. And uh, I think it's an extraordinary offering because the students and staff get four free visits um, at the drop-in center um, for anything that might be bothering them or just need to talk with somebody and so it's, it's a great offering. And, and it's a comfortable place. Uh, somebody can just walk in and say, I just need to sit down for a minute. Yeah, yeah. yes, and listen to the waterfall. We have a waterfall. And they, they do actually, a student came in just before I came here and did that very thing, just came in and needed to just chill for a minute. Do you find that the, the students are taking advantage of the Oasis Center? Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Students and staff. Nice. Yep. All right, let's uh, look at the, the plan for uh, the, the health walk. I think you originally planned it uh, <laughs> earlier. We did. But it got rained out. It majorly rained <laughs> out, and I was very sad about it. Um, was that the monsoon? It was one of them, yeah. yes. Of course, the day that I plan a huge <laughs> event. Um, so we moved it inside the air station. So hopefully no matter what the weather is, we can still have our event. And if it is nice out, we can expand the walk to the campus. So that way people can see both the air station, which is new and really mm -hmm. cool, and also walk around the beautiful campus too. So we've just made it bigger. <laughs> Well, what are the benefits uh, of walking? Can you can you lose weight? Can you can yeah. you get your head cleared? Oh, there's so many benefits. Um, you know, and walking is just that low impact exercise. So the guidelines for the American Heart Association recommends 150 minutes per week. Mm -hmm. So even just walking 10 minutes a couple times a day during a break, during a lunch break, you can get your minutes in. You can lose weight, you can lower your blood pressure, you can lower your blood sugar, and also you can clear your mind for when you're stressed just to get out in the fresh air and you know, work through what you're trying to work through just by walking. Walking is good mental health. It, it is. is um, I like to use the term mental fitness because it jibes so much nice, more nicely with physical fitness. And I think it's less uh, pejorative in, in the terminology. And to be physically fit and mentally fit requires us to move um, so that oxygen can get up to the brain so the brain can actually operate at an optimal level. Um, and so that's part of why we do feel better when we exercise um, because it actually biochemically um, helps us think and feel and problem solve better. And so walking is just so, I mean, we do it all the time. I mean, just to get from the couch to the bathroom, you walk. <laughs> so if you could just extend that a little bit, put a little bit more energy into it in a few more minutes, um, you can truly be more physically fit and mentally fit. 
all at the same time. It's fabulous. <laughs> well, I noticed you have an Apple Watch, so when it tells you to stand up, do you? <laughs> usually, usually it doesn't have to warn me. I can't sit still for two minutes. Uh, but um. Well, there's this new thing. What is it called from the New York Times this morning? Dead butt syndrome? Dead butt. Yes. So actually your uh, muscles uh, can atrophy they from can. sitting. Absolutely. Absolutely. And the blood pools and the major muscles that you're sitting on. So why do you start to feel fatigued and kind of sleepy when you're sitting for a minute? Because there's no oxygen being pumped up to the mind to keep you all operating. So you, you got to get up and move. <laughs> so teaching uh, students uh, mm -hmm. classes in health careers, yes. how important is it that students have an, an, uh, an interest in maintaining their own physical and mental health? Oh, it's, I think it's vital. So a perfect example, I just had dental hygiene students that I taught nutrition to, mm -hmm. so kind of random. Um, but we talked about the importance of physical exercise as well as good nutrition. And there was so much feedback from these students that, you know, I'm just stressed out. I feel like I don't have time because I just have to study. So we were able to break down their schedule and say, well, if you go for a walk at this time or, you know, have a study group while eating a healthy snack or, you know, just taking your life and making it fit a healthy lifestyle is very important. So just little things like this, just community events, feeling mm -hmm. like you're a part of something bigger helps as well. Well, it'd be neat if we could get the whole campus to turn out for this, right? I hope so, yes. That'd be great. <laughs> and the community, it is the community health white swap. So yeah. it'd be great to have, have the community come out and see what's going on out there. And it's not just this event because you have so many fitness uh, facilities on yeah. campus mm -hmm. that are we open do. to the whole community. We do. And there are pickleball courts inside of the air station <laughs> now. And uh, those are beautiful. <coughs> yeah, they're very pretty. Have you guys, are, are you pickleballers? Not yet, but no. I might. <laughs> <laughs> we'll not see. just pickleball, you've got, you can play tennis, you can play basketball, you can play. Yeah. Yes. Really, just about there's so many on things. the walkway around the yes. campus now with those beautiful um, pathways that they've built are just there's no reason not to take mm -hmm. advantage of being oh another mental fitness thing that just dawned on me is when we're outside, you know, being out with nature helps us feel better uh, mentally, and it is true. I mean, it's research based. I'm not just making this up. <laughs> um, so it is something really important. And so to go for a walk outside is you get double you know, yes, you than a treadmill or something. So. I agree with you. I think yeah. you're right. I, I read probably f four or five years ago um, uh, an, uh, an article from someone who was trying to help with stress, and it was during the pandemic, and he said, if you just go out and look at trees, yeah. just look at trees, yeah. you're going to feel better just like that. Mm -hmm. And it's true. Yeah. I've tried it. It is true. Yeah. Cloud yeah. formations, insects flying around, critters running around. It's great. <laughs> and it's free. Just go out and do it. It is. Yeah. And fresh air smells great, too. It sure does. Yeah. So in uh, the Oasis Center, how do students find out that they even have these resources? Because you've got other things like the, the food pantry and mm -hmm. uh, other services that one might not expect would well, be in college. We joined forces like um, Sarah called me uh, for the HealthWise event and said, hey, would you want to be part of this? And so as soon as JC wants to do an event and they let us know, we're there. Um, with a table and flyers and things like that. Um, one of the therapists and I went over to the uh, residence uh, hall and did a presentation for the res resident assistants on helping students um, just be able to talk to somebody through an anxious moment or something like that. So th they are getting to know we have flyers out and cards out, and, um, but the staff have been extremely supportive. Um, they will refer students to us. I've had staff walk them down to us and say, you know, here's, here's the oasis and um, I think maybe you ought to stay and talk for a minute. Mm -hmm. And the students do and they, sometimes they're there just that one time and it fixes whatever it was that was just mm -hmm. had them out of sorts and that's good enough. And then other times they will come back for the other three. And I noticed you guys were at the Jet Jam last week, and you had a really good turnout, students. Yeah, that was fun. Yeah, <laughs> all the resources and uh, clubs and ways that kids, students can participate mm -hmm. all laid out there. Mm -hmm. Great energy on campus. Great energy. Great to hear. 
Well, we'll look forward to uh, joining you on Tuesday, September 10th, from 10.30 to 1.30 at the Campus Walk. Yes. Thank you. Thanks yeah. for being here. Thanks for having us again. Uh, Sarah Case is Simulation and Innovation Center faculty at Jackson College and Navigator at Oasis Center, Cheryl Price. Well, next we've got uh, some birthdays.